This is Peter McGough with Muscular Development. We're at the Tampa Pro Show and I'm here with Manuel Romero. Um, Manuel, you, this is about the third time you've done this show. Is there a, an attraction to come to Tampa? Well, it's because it's, um, I moved to Florida a few years, uh, six years ago and I want to give these people who has been supporting me and the social media something that they be doing like supporting me so I want to give something back to them yeah. so giving my best in this show and I want to win my first show pro in Florida so that's why I'm coming this one so I mean you, you were Venezuelan champion what year did you win that championship to turn pro um, I competed in 2008 at the Quinta Copa La Esmeralda and the, the judges um, out there at that time they give it to me the pro car because they considered that uh, I, I was in the a special moment the condition and and youngest to be a pro and represent my country so what you're, you're a very tall guy how tall are you and what will you be weighing in on s tomorrow well uh, I'm six one and yeah this morning I was 266 pounds so I don't know where I go, is I go up or I go down, but last year in Sacramento, my best looking ever, I was in 260, so been working to put some size in my upper body, and I'm already did, so I think um, this is going to be my best. So, I mean, um, you were third in Sacramento, second, second, second. good for you, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, you, you, is it fair to say that, you know, I've told you before, you've got all the body parts, but it's just getting that final finish to you. Did you, did you achieve that in California Pro when you were second to Cedric McMillan? Because you really pushed him there. Yeah, um, you know, I was feeling like I was winning the show, but at one point, I got to be honest with myself. I, I know I got a condition, but as the judges say, because I always ask them, I respect their opinion, because I know, I always know that I have the potential, but when the judges is looking at my physique, I know they are waiting for explode my physique at hundred percent and I know that they they are allowed to to ask me for so if they let me go in with an incomplete package I never gonna fix it because I will see I would think like I'm a champion already I'm already have what I need so but they is pushing me to bring the best of myself so that's why they put me in the second and I say okay is second against Macmillan is not that bad, but I know Macmillan is the guy who's been in the Olympia, so I think like I already have what I need to be in the Olympia lining up, and that's why I feel very confident today about this Saturday. So if everything becomes together, I will do the qualification for the Mixed Olympia this year. So being in the Olympia, what would that mean to you? It would be a really a dream come true you, because every time I've been competing as an amateur I was thinking of being preparing to compete at the Mr. Olympia show so after competing the Olympia it will be another beginning for me so that will be the launching pad to crazy thing yes sir exactly <laughs> it will change my life <laughs> now we have a mutual friend back in England Dino from Dino's Gym in Birmingham, yeah. Solville. Yeah, is he the most enthusiastic bodybuilder fan you've ever met? I mean, he's he's, he's out. Man, man, I don't I don't know how to explain this, but the, I feel my skin pump it up because when I meet him, I'm, I was you know I was looking at him like an old person, and I respect the persons, but uh, the the chemistry becomes immediately between him and me because he really loved bodybuilding man and for me it was something like damn I need somebody like this guy beside me every day in the morning at night every workout because he really loved that and he see bodybuilding no matter what people think about him he's living bodybuilding sometimes we pay too much attention to what people think around us but I think that's what I learned from him. I go to the gym, I put my ego beside, and I just live the ways as I as I live when I when I was a beginner. I do for myself. I don't pay attention to anybody. I just enjoy my reps. I enjoy my sets. Um, I go to failure if I want because it's what I learned from him. He just give me he give me this back to me. 
he gives me my spirit back. So I want to say right now, thank you, Dino, for, for being who you are. Um, I love you. I, I hope to see you soon. So I've known Dino for 30 years. This might surprise you because he's such a great motivator and so exuberant and outgoing. When I first met him, he was very quiet. He would be in the back oh, of the yeah? gym. Yeah, I, in fact, I, I, he worked at Muscle Machine Gym in, in, in Birmingham and I never really spoke to him. I was aware he was there, but he, oh. he never pushed himself. So to see the, the change in him is, is tremendous. So Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe being um, on the gym and he, he, he becomes to be more confident now with the years, but he, what he did in bodybuilding is good. It, uh, the, the environment and, and, and his gym, the people who go to the gym, everybody loves each other, everybody loves and um, support everybody out there. So it's a very nice place to be. And um, thank you for, for giving uh, uh, to me and my team when I was there the best welcome ever. Thank you, Dina. So Saturday, what changes will we see from California? Will, will there be any major changes? Will it all be about condition? Well, I was working out at the gym every year, thinking about size. But my last photo shoot, it was with Per Bernal, somebody who I think is the best photographer, and also consider his his experience in bodybuilding, being working with bodybuilders, Fles Wheeler, um, all of these guys, Sean Rye, Chris Cormier, he took pictures of everybody, all of this physique has been in Olympia forever. So I asked him, what do you think that I need to win the Olympia? And he just gave me two words that he said, be more conditioning, because you already have everything and make a little bigger your forearms, something like that. And if you can make your waist a little, like an inch smaller, it would be perfect. And I wanna be perfect. So then uh, I had the opportunity to talk to Fletch Wheeler and he advised me too. Man, enjoy what you do. Don't try to become bigger because you already have what you need. So I was thinking about, okay, I'm already have what I need, so I just have to pullish, like a, when you push your car, like you, you make a chain. So that's what I've been doing at the gym every day, making my, my muscles more, more like definition, more muscle belly. And as I said, enjoying more my time in the gym. So I, I, just, I was focused just on that. And also uh, I was trying to make, with my diet and my coach, um, my, my chest more rounder and muscle belly becomes to be better um, fullness in, the, in my upper body. So a final message to the fans, what should they expect on, on Friday and Saturday? G give them the, the war cry. I'll do my best already in my pre contest, so I will show you my best this Saturday. Stay tuned and thank you Muscular Development to support us. Thank you, Mr. Rudy. Thank you very much, Manuel. Enjoyed our chat. Thank you so much. Thank you.